guys, it's Katie with Dash and Dish, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about some simple swaps to start. So maybe you're new to clean eating and this whole thing is just the beginning of your journey, or maybe you've been doing it for a while but you still have a few obstacles that you come against or a few questions. So I'm just gonna make a few simple recommendations for some swaps that you can start with. So the very first swap that I would recommend is ditch the white stuff. So white bread, white flour, white sugar, white pasta, anything white, it's really void of any nutritional benefits and it really won't fill you up or keep you satisfied. So it's really just empty calories and it will even spike your blood sugar, make you feel tired, um, have you craving more sugar and more white stuff shortly after you eat it. So I would recommend for the white flour swapping out with almond flour or oat flour. I use both a lot on dashingdish.com. They're both very high in nutrition, high in fiber and protein, so they keep you satisfied. You can even make your own oat flour right at home, and we know that it's very heart healthy as well. White flat or white sugar, I recommend swapping that out with baking stevia, um, sugar in the raw or coconut sugar, honey or maple syrup. Those are all natural options that will sweeten your food. And they're usually much more sweeter and so you don't need as much of them, of them as well. As far as white pasta, I recommend swapping out with some lentil-based pasta or bean-based or quinoa-based pasta. There are tons of great options that are in the grocery store today and they taste the same, same texture. So really, even picky eaters don't even know that they're eating lentils when they're eating their pasta. And then as far as white bread goes, I recommend a sprouted uh, bread such as Ezekiel brand or maybe even a whole grain bread. Just make sure you check the first few ingredients and make sure that there's actual whole grains in that bread versus just a packaging or a marketing thing. The next swap that I would recommend making is ditch the unhealthy highly processed fats. So these would be things like canola oil or vegetable oil and swapping it for a natural form of healthy oil such as avocado oil, coconut oil or olive oil. I always tell people, you know, when's the last time you saw a fatty vegetable? It really doesn't exist. And so that would cause you to kind of wonder, where are you getting this vegetable oil from? That's because it's highly processed and man-made and really won't do the body good the way that olive oil or avocado oil would because we know that those are naturally de derived from their source of food. The next swap out I would recommend making is ditch the box and bag stuff. There's not a whole lot of stuff that can remain shelf stable for a very long time without adding a whole lot of unnecessary ingredients to it. So I recommend um, just checking the ingredients anytime you buy something that's boxed or bagged and really check it out. Um, usually it has a lot of um, white flour, a lot of starches, a lot of preservatives in it. And so look for the cleanest um, eating options. So those would be things with real ingredients, as few ingredients as possible. And I like to usually buy organic when it comes to any kind of boxed or bag thing, just to choose the healthiest option available. So that leads me to my next simple swap out, which is to choose organics when possible. I always get questions on what should I buy, buy organic. Personally, I like to get um, my meat products, my animal products, and my produce, those are like that, the top ones that I like to get organic. Now we know that organic food can be more pricey. Some ways to save on costs would be to buy in bulk, so Sam's Club or Costco, or um, just look for sales on things like meat or wherever you can, and then freeze it if possible. And then also I like to shop at Aldi and Trader Joe's because usually they tend to be a little bit less pricey for the quality organic items. And last but not least, as far as swap outs go, I would encourage you to find what makes you feel good. You know, a lot of times people ask me questions about, should I um, cut out dairy? Should I cut out eggs? Should I cut out grains? You know, there's so many different facts and, and thoughts out there about different food items and ingredients. And I would just encourage you to really start to pay attention to how certain foods make your body feel. Everybody is a little bit different. And so start to listen to, you know, how does your digestive system feel? How do you feel after you eat things? And if you really don't feel your best after you say have some dairy, then try cutting out certain types of dairy or eliminate it altogether. Ultimately, health is about feeling your best and choosing what's best for you and your family. So I hope that these simple swaps were a great start to starting your cleaning lifestyle. You can check out all kinds of simple swap outs and cleaning recipes on dashingdish.com. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.